Well, if you're searching for the new iPad 2, you may have a long wait ahead of you. Retailers are all sold out of the new device, and online orders may take up to a month. For more on iPad 2 sales, let's bring in Michael Binger, a fund manager at Thrive and Asset Management, which owns shares of Apple. Last time he was here, he said, quote, Apple's rivals should be scared. He joins us now from Minnesota. Well, Michael, welcome back to Bloomberg's Bottom Line. Good to have you back on. Thanks for having me. Michael, new iPad model, same price tag. What does this say about Apple's strategy and how it plans on keeping competitors at bay? Well, I, I think it's playing out very well for Apple. I, I, I mean, they introduce the product and then they create a buzz right before they sell it and, and they start selling it and it, it and demand is not even a question. I mean, they could have sold well more than a million units this week and uh, it's how many they, can they produce. And if you're a company that's bringing a new product to market and, and if the things that you're worrying about is how many you, can you produce to meet demand, you're in a good situation. Michael, does the $499 price tag mean that Apple's willing to take less of a profit in order to hold on to market share? No, I don't think so. I think Apple went out and they secured a lot of the component costs of this at a much cheaper price. You know, they're so big and they're the leader and they buy in bulk and uh, I, I think they're saving that way. So they may even be generating a little bit more at the same price. And also we should point out too, I guess because uh, in, in Apple's corner as well, they control their own software. So that's a, a leg up on the competition as well. Well, you know, they control their own ecosystem. So, I mean, it's a totally captive ecosystem, device, content bringing. I, I mean, the iPad 2 is doing so much for them that, that I think they'll have at least two-thirds of this market going forward. And then you'll have, you know, dozens of other competitors, you know, competing for the other third. And if you're the one guy that controls two-thirds of a new market, I think you're sitting in a pretty good spot. But, Michael, is, is there a downside to this? Perhaps could there be a bubble building in tablets? I don't think there's a bubble building at all for Apple. There may be a bubble in the one-third that is going to be non-Apple tablets. I mean, that's because you have so many competitors, you know, being caught off guard with the whole tablet market, let alone the iPad 2 market in the next generation, that all these competitors have to fight for what inevitably is going to be about one-third of the market. Is there a possibility that supply could outpace demand this year? Oh, I, I, I mean, in the one-third, I believe, in the one-third of the market that is non-Apple, I do believe that supply will outstrip demand. Now, if you're talking about demand for the iPad 2, I believe demand will outstrip supply, as we certainly saw this weekend. I, I, mean, I mean, look, it, it takes a month to order it online. That's telling you something right now, that demand is outstripping supply for the iPad 2. How much of an advantage does Apple gain by selling iPads in its own stores and on its website? Well, I, I think it has a big advantage. I mean, but when you, when you think about it, they're selling at their own stores. They're selling online. This time they're selling at both AT&T and Verizon. They're selling at Walmart, Target, Best Buy. Uh, they're selling internationally. And they haven't even begun to sell that iPad in 25 more countries that are going to start rolling out next week. So I think demand is just going to come, you know, continue to hit hard for the iPad 2. And it's a matter of producing as much as demand demands. What's their profit margin going to look like? What do you think? Well, you know, they don't really give out, and, and I wouldn't really want to, yeah. you know, try and fathom a guess on the iPad 2, but Apple overall, you know, it comes pretty close to a 40% gross margin. I mean, they bounce between, you know, the 36, 37, to, you know, low 40s, but on average, they're around 39 to 40% gross margin, which is, you know, pretty darn good for a hardware company. Uh, no doubt. Michael Binger, fund manager, Thrive and Asset Management, joining us from Minnesota. Michael, always good to have you on. Thanks so much.